and welcome back to the channel. This is Thomas Goes Nostalgic, and on this episode, we're going to be completing our Channel 6 News Building Diorama. Once again, folks, welcome back, and we are so close to the finish line. If you followed me along this journey, we have done so much already by constructing the building, doing each floor one level at a time, but we've now made it to the end where we get to focus and paint the exterior of the building. And if you haven't seen the previous episodes where we've gotten this far, go ahead and check those out and then come back for this one. But it's really been a fun process. I've been thinking about this project for over a year now and to see it finally come into fruition has been super cool. And a big shout out to anyone that's given me tips, advice, just general information on what I should be doing with this diorama. I've taken all of your feedback. I really appreciate it. And every little bit of that has gone into this project. So definitely got some great inspiration from friends that I've met through the community. So once again, thank you very much to everyone that has helped me out through this process. So if you're ready to complete this Channel 6 News to Building diorama like I am, let's get to it. So as I was completing each diorama going up each floor, I made sure that I primed the outside of the building. So luckily that's not a step that I have to take here, but I always like to start my projects with a nice coat of black and Mod Podge just to give it that sealer in case any of the paint chips. But luckily we can just start painting all of our colors right now. So we're gonna start painting some of the easier parts first and that is all of the brickwork because that's all gonna be done a solid gray. I don't think I showed it in any of the previous videos, but I did carve out brick into the back walls and that's because no one's ever gonna see that. So I didn't really wanna put extra time and effort into details that really wouldn't be seen. So we're gonna start painting these and I'm kind of doing it kind of ham handed, but someone made a suggestion before to use a Sharpie or a paint pen. So I'm gonna use that Sharpie or paint pen to go over all of the lines because I want all of the lines to be prominent to give it that real animated look. So we're gonna start painting all of these panels and then we'll be done with the gray. And as I mentioned before, someone did suggest using a Sharpie or a marker to really highlight those black lines for that animated look. So I really wanted to try it out because it sounded like a good idea. So I had a Sharpie, I had an artist marker, and then a paint pen. In the end, the one in the middle, which is the artist marker, that turned out to be my favorite. So they all did the line work pretty well, but for ease and application, I really did like that artist marker. So I'll go ahead and cover all these panels with that line work and then these panels will be complete. And all of my line work is done. I do like to assemble everything back and see how it looks just to see how everything's coming together. And I love the way that line work has come out. So for the person that suggested it, thank you very much. I really do love that idea. It came out fantastic. So when it came time to painting the window panels, I really didn't want to emulate what was on the cartoon. Oftentimes, if you saw the Channel 6 News building, the windows were either blacked out or grayed, and there was already too much gray on this diorama with the brickwork, so I wanted a color scheme that would pop. So looking at a friend that I've made in the community, Armando, his Channel 6 News building diorama is fantastic, and he used this beautiful blue color scheme and he was even gracious enough to show me how he did it so I incorporated that into this build it's kind of an homage to what he's done and I just want to give a big shout out to Armando as well thank you very much sir for helping me out with this part of the project it really helps it stand out thank you again so what I'm doing is just mixing a few variations of blue so I have some dark blues some light blues and every now and then I'll mix in a little bit of white for kind of a reflective effect. And I'm just making sure that all of my paint strokes are going in a diagonal fashion. And really whatever you want to do the windows, if you, even if you want to do black or gray and white, 
Um, you could still kind of achieve that effect of the reflection, but I just really love the way that this blue looks. So we're gonna continue finishing up these window panels and continue on to the next step. And you might notice that I'm taking all of the panels off once they're complete. And that's because I wanted the streak marks to be continuous from one panel to the next. But I also didn't want the paint to stick. So once I was done with one side, I made sure that I took it off so that the paint panels wouldn't stick to each other from one floor to the next. Next up, we're gonna start working on painting all of the letters and numbers. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. Originally, I wanted to paint a metallic gold and a metallic red, but I just didn't think that it was looking that great. So I opted to paint the cell shading look from the cartoon, and I'm gonna do that with all of my letters and numbers. So we're gonna start with all of our letters first. And I wanna make sure that I get through all of the letters that spell channel, and then we'll do the number six that is above the awning. So everything's just gonna get a base top coat of this yellow, and I'm only painting the top. I'm gonna to keep the outline black. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna dip my paintbrush into the white and just give a nice white streak diagonally, making sure that it blends into that yellow just to kind of give that kind of reflective effect. And we'll do this with all the letters and then move on to the red number six. And now that I'm done with all the lettering and the numbers, I'm really happy that I didn't go with the metallic because the shaded look looks really cool and I really think it screams animated look. So really happy with the way that this turned out. Now for the part that I was probably dreading the most, adding in all of these window frames. I really wasn't sure what to do at first, if I should just make one big piece, cut out all the squares. But in the end, I opted to cut out each individual beam and glue it on so this was really tedious it took a really long time but what i did was i just took my proxon hot wire table i cut out all of these strips and then painted them black and then we started applying and gluing them so this was really tough i had to go back in any part that there was exposed foam i had to make sure that i carefully painted black but really happy with the end results so this just took a lot of time so maybe there's a better way to do this if you're thinking about doing this, this was just the way that I chose. Probably not the most efficient, but maybe in the future I'll think of something better. But for now, it did the trick.
So finally up to the last part of these window frames. I'm just completing the front of the building. Once I'm done putting all these beams and window frames on, I'm going to give everything a nice coat of gloss Mod Podge just so all the window and window frames shine. I really want to have a nice little bit of gloss to it. So we'll complete this and then after that only a few more steps. So now I'm taking this adhesive cork board that I have and I thought it'd be cool just to texture the roof. Um, really unnecessary step but I just thought that I didn't want it to be just flat foam. So I'm just measuring all of the pieces to fit the roof. I'll give it a nice coat of black and then this way it'll have a little bit of texture. And after I painted the roof, I just had to work on one more detail, and that was painting the doorway. And I think on the photos I've seen, it was mostly gray, but I wanted to do it yellow just for contrast and color. And I did that shaded effect as well. So loving how that came out. So I painted the roof black and then had another idea. I took some scrap pieces of foam that I had lying around, glued them together, painted them gray, and made a platform because I wanted to put the antenna from the NECA Toon Diorama on top and I thought that would be a really great way just to kind of cap off the entire building. And one last thing to do is we're going to grab our press pass and then we're off to channel 6. And folks, we have crossed the finish line. This diorama is finally complete. We started this project back in April. It's now July and it is done. So we ended with the painting of the exterior and I finally was able to open all my Geekathon, my Holothon figures so I can get them on the display. I even used my Playmates party wagon as, for scale just to see what my NECA party wagon is gonna look like. And I'm really excited that when that arrives, I already have my setup ready to go so I won't be holding anything in the box when that comes because I'm going to take some time off from building dioramas I'm actually going to be switching my home office with my toy room so I'll have more space where this diorama will permanently live now I know I made the inside dioramas but I kind of like the way that it looks from the outside there's actually a lot of display things that you can do here and I simply am in love with it and just for fun, I took the reissue of the Turtle Blimp out of the box finally, just to see how it looked on the top of the building. And it does not disappoint. It actually fits on the building with the antenna. It looks really cool. So I'm just so happy with how this came out. Everything kind of fell into place. I made some creative decisions along the way, but I had such an awesome time making this. And folks, that does it for this episode. Like I said before, I'll be back, but for now I'm going to focus on rearranging some of my house. I'm going to change that home office with the toy room so I can make more room for this display. But in the meantime, if you like this content, hit like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post my next episode. Until then, we'll catch you next time.